Man, my life really has changed since this little guy showed up. Hi, Combo Crew. I wasn't expecting company. I bet you're all wondering how I ended up with a green puppy. His name is Ozzy, and he's an alien. Took a while for my mom to agree to let me keep him, but the Galactic Canine Federation was really quite convincing. Oh, you look confused. Well, maybe I should start from the beginning. This is the story about how I ended up adopting an alien puppy. And it all started on a spaceship in a galaxy far, far away. It all started when Gus raided the food closet. He just couldn't help himself. <laughs> I'd never seen so many gummies floating around in one place. Alpha was real upset about it, and Gus was nowhere to be found. Uh, Cobble, you know you have Gus watch duty before snack time. Hey, don't blame this on me. It was Ryan's turn this time. I'm piloting the spaceship. Your job is... Is Gus watching? Well, I was Gus watching, and then I was Star watching. But then I swear I was Gus watching again. But at that point, there was no Gus to be watched. Look, we don't have time for this. I say we split up and follow the gummy trail. At least one of us will find Gus. So there I was, taking my new job very seriously. Searching for the lost Gus. Mmm, those gummies were really good. <laughs> anyway. Then, I saw something of the green variety running behind a corridor. And I thought, aha, uh -huh, Gus couldn't outsmart me. I found him, so I rushed over. I was ready to grab Gus before he could get away. But to my surprise, it wasn't Gus who was curled over a big pile of gummies making feral noises. It was a weird looking, adorable green slime puppy. At that moment, I knew we were meant to be the best of friends. <laughs> After that, I went back to the mess hall to meet up with Ryan and Alpha. I just had to show them this alien puppy. But before I can announce my amazing discovery, I noticed that they had found Gus. Gummies, gummies, gummies. What happened to him? You found him like this. I guess even Gus has a gummy on him. Oh, what's that, Cobble? Oh, this? It's only the cutest puppy in the galaxy. Oh my gosh! He is the cutest! We have to play with him immediately! Blue gummies! Purple gummies! Gummies! It wasn't long after playing with Ozzy that we discovered all the cool things he could do! Like the time Ryan tried teaching Ozzy how to roll over in zero gravity? It was real fun watching Ryan roll all over the place. And Ozzy staring at him blankly. But Ryan did have a breakthrough when a light suddenly shone in Ozzy's eyes. And when Ozzy finally started rolling over, who would have guessed he'd create his own gravitational pull, causing us and the spaceship to revolve around him? <laughs> oh, that was hard to fix. Ooh, but then there was the time I tried teaching Ozzy how to play fetch. There was this cool looking moon rock I had. And I threw it out into space, hoping Ozzy would go after it. Go fetch! It took a while, but Ozzy eventually did go after it. I was feeling really proud of my skills as an alien dog trainer. until Ozzy came back with a giant moon. I don't know which planetary system he messed up, and I don't want to know. What matters is that now he is great at playing fetch. He's the best. All that was was a failure in communication. Ahem. Anyway, 
After that, Alpha wanted to feed Ozzy some dinosaur-shaped dog treats that she brought with her from Earth. I don't know why she thought dog treats would help us in space. When I asked her about it, she said it was her intuition and that I wouldn't understand. Well, she was right. I don't understand. <laughs> but I bet she wasn't expecting Ozzy to vaporize all the treats either with his eye lasers. I thought Alpha would be more bummed about it, but instead, she got this weird gleam in her eye. And she and Ozzy started practice with the dog treats. It was honestly a little scary. <laughs> Ryan and I had to stop them before any more damage was done to the spaceship. After a full day of playing, we decided to go back and rest up at the mess hall. That's when we got into an argument about what to name Ozzy. We have to name him something cool, like Rocket or Sparky. No, his name has to be Ozzy. And why do you get to decide what his name should be? Because I found him. Guys, I'm sure we can think of a name that we all like if we just... He already has a name! Gus! No, not Gus. He already has a name on his collar. Didn't you guys bother to check? But Gus, we don't even know what that says. It's not about being able to read. It's the fact that the puppy has a collar. That means he has a home. We need to bring him back to his rightful owner. Okay, Gus, you're right. We're going to bring him back to his home. But where is his home? Well, I guess that works. Hey, wait a minute, Ryan. If you're here, then who's been piloting the ship this entire time? Uh, gotta go. With the help of Ozzy, Ryan navigated us to his home planet, which ended up being a planet full of alien puppies that looked exactly like Ozzy. We were all shocked. And Gus almost fainted when we met the Galactic Canine Federation. Sure, they were a little weird and extremely slimy and only spoke in weird alien noises, but they were nice. They saw how close Ozzy and I were and they kept nodding and giving me a thumbs up. Basically, Ozzy had chosen me as his owner. We ended up having a little ceremony where I signed the adoption papers. And Gus even took a picture of me shaking hands with one of the slimy aliens. It was really strange. And that's the whole story. When we came back home to Earth, my mom was not having it with Ozzy. She didn't think I was responsible enough to take care of two pets. I didn't know what to do. But it turns out the Galactic Canine Federation gave her a call and they convinced her I could do it. I don't know how, since they don't speak the same language. <gasps> Maybe it's that intuition stuff I don't get. Uh, hey, Ozzy, you sure are good at fetch now. Oh, yeah. And the weirdest thing, Ozzy and Sheldon just can't be in the same room together. They have this weird on-site rivalry thing going on. Also, I can't say Sheldon's name around Ozzy without him reacting. <laughs> Check it out. Sheldon! Sheldon! <laughs> Anyways, that's the whole story. Thanks for watching, Combo Crew. I'm gonna start teaching Ozzy how to roll over. I'm sure he'll get it right this time. Ladies and gentlemen, Space aliens from all across the universe. Tonight, we're witnessing history. Only one team will be crowned the best pirates in the galaxy. Will it be the valiant Team Ryan and Combo? Or the indomitable duo of Alpha and Pat? I'm your host, Mr. Zor, and welcome to the show. So let's get ready for round one. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're going down, Peck! That's what you think, Combo! Your master taught you well! And I'll defeat you! Just like I defeated my master! No! And the first point goes to Team Ryan and Combo. What a match! Space Pirates, it's time for round two! You ready, Ryan? I was born ready! What a snipe from Alpha! How is that for shark shooting? You're pretty good, Ryan. But watch this! I... I can't believe this, ladies and gentlemen! She's faster than a shooting star, hotter than a supernova! She's Alpha, the winner of round two! It's all come down to this, ladies and gentlemen! The final round, the tiebreaker, the definitive conclusion! Who will come out on top as the greatest pirates in the galaxy? Ryan, look! This is a hoverboard race! You have to be the one to do it! But... I lost the last round! Heh! <laughs> you lost to give them a fighting chance! This is your opportunity to shine! Also, I left my hoverboard back on the ship, so this is all on you. May the best pirate win! Agree! Oh, and we're off to a stellar start! No oh, popsicles! No! Someone help! Don't worry, I got you! Thanks, Alpha! Would you, Would you look, look at, at that? that? Ryan, Ryan and Peck, Peck are starbound! Combo Bunga! They're really flying, Ryan! Gentlemen, Ryan won the space race. Huh? That was positively amazing, Ryan. Wait. Whoa. What is this? I don't know, but we should find out. We hit the jackpot. There must be a thousand star fragments! A thousand star fragments... for me. Mr. Zorg! I knew there was a hidden stash of star fragments around here somewhere. All I needed was a little help. So thanks, fools. 
Bigfoot. We're supposed to be the best pirates in the galaxy. <laughs> you really think I was going to give you this award? As if. You're not the best space pirates in the galaxy. Not alone, they're not. Alpha, back! So long, space cowboys. <laughs> we have to stop him. But... Together, we have all the skills a space pirate needs. Ryan is great at hoverboarding. And you have the best aim with laser guns, Alpha. And my laser sword skills can embarrass anyone. But what can I do? Heck, you're the smartest space pirate I've ever met. Surely you can think of a plan. I got it! Oh, I must have dropped that one. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. No! 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 Alpha! You can't do this to me! I stole from you fair and square! Like a good space pirate! A true space pirate always has a crew to back them up! And there's no greater crew than the four of us! You said it! There's no greater team than us! Oh yeah! We did it! This isn't the end, space pirates! I'll be back and I'll have my revenge! <laughs> Hey everyone, Gil here. As you probably noticed, I'm a real fish out of water. Literally, I spent all day lost in the weird ocean planet. It's a funny story actually. It started out like any other day. Ryan was flying the ship, Combo's playing video games, Combo Bunga! And Gus was, well, being Gus. Oh, I'm so hungry. Gus, we just had lunch. That was 15 minutes ago. I need a gummy break. Oh, Gus. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna faint. Huh? Oh, it's a gummy roll. Don't mind if I do. Huh? What was that? Whoa! Oh no! Gil just got flushed right out of the ship! Gus, what did you do? We can't take our eyes off you for one second! Oops! We better act fast! Let's see if we can call him on the comms unit! Gil, can you hear me? Are you okay? Oh man, what a fall. I'm okay guys. It looks like I'm in an ocean. Huh? Ooh, shiny. Mm. <laughs> ah! Uh, I finally lost them. Oh man, this place is creepy. I've got to get out of here. Can you guys come pick me up? One second, Gil. We're trying to find you on the map. Hmm. There he is. We found him. We'll be right there. Just head east and meet us on the island. Help is on the way. Will there be gummies on this planet? Gus, haven't you had enough gummies? Hmm. I 
think this way is east. Oh, hi there, little shrimp. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Oh, no, thank you. I don't have time to play tic-tac-toe. I'm in a hurry to meet my friends. I really have to get going. Hey, man, take it easy. No need to get upset. I guess a quick game won't hurt. There, your move. Nice one. My turn again. Hey, this is actually kind of fun. Now you go again. Woohoo! I won! Great game! I better get going now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! Don't get all snippy. It's just a game. That's it. I'm out of here. We finally landed. We're here waiting for you, Gil. I'm getting there as fast as I can. Oh, man. What is it now? What are all these jellyfish doing here? Ooh, this is pretty. Ow! Uh, nothing in this ocean is friendly. Uh-oh! The tide is rising. We won't be able to wait for Gil on this island much longer. Gil, hurry! How am I gonna get past all these jellyfish without getting hurt? Hmm... That's it! I got it! Here I go! Woo! Combo Bunga! Hey! That's my line! Here he comes! I can finally get back to the spaceship! Oh no! The water has completely covered the island! How is Gil gonna get back on the spaceship? The ship is still really far away. I can't jump that high. How am I supposed to reach it? Oh well! A giant whale! Uh, nice to meet you! Uh, welcome back? Guys, don't you think you owe Gil an apology for flushing him out of the ship? What do you mean? I'm just enjoying my gummies. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry, Gil. Here, have a gummy. Let's just get out of here. Well, that's the story. All's well that ends well, I guess. Next time, we'll make sure Gus always has gummies nearby when he needs a snack. Bye, everyone! <gasps> hey, guys! Did you know it's important to brush your teeth at least two times a day? If you don't, you might get cavities! Ew! Watch what happens when germs and bacteria go inside your mouth. <laughs> Welcome to Ryan Toy Review. Wow. Wow. Wow.
Ah! <laughs> <laughs>